Welcome to the chapter What is Science? This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Science makes us understand the world better with backup of research and various experiments done by scientists. Experimentation is a natural process conducted under controlled conditions to find the unknown truths in nature. Questioning is the first step in finding new things. This made us to know about science in different fields. Ecologists observe the terrestrial behavior of bluebirds whereas geologists tell us about fossils and minerals in Earth's crust. An astrophysicist enables us to see the photographs of distant galaxies. Chemists recorded the reactions of matter at different temperatures and nuclear physicists made a note of angular momentum of particles in a circular path. Different biologists experimented on the behavior of a particular tissue in various stimulants. Now, let us learn about the need of science. Science is a type of knowledge accumulation to test new ideas. These inventions help people to know the developments in their lives. The need of science varies from individual perspective to societal perspective. Scientific methods The processed work processed by scientists in their discoveries is called scientific method. This includes planning and investigation, science process skills, reading to learn, writing to communicate, measuring. Individual Perspective Science is a way of building knowledge about the world and constructing new ideas that illuminate the world around us. Scientists are the ones who discovered the new species of dinosaur or a new model in which atoms bond. New discoveries which enable us to think about nature. They find interest in the discovery of some unknown facts which overturn the accepted ideas. Now, let us look into societal perspective. Science has great impact on every individual as it improves people's lives. Let us observe some examples. Geneticists are discovering new things to understand how certain conditions are passed from one generation to another generation. Biologists are seeking the information about the transmitted diseases in order to improve the lives of ordinary people. Yacht scientists are developing better models to predict the weather, earthquakes, landslides, volcanic eruptions, etc. On the other hand, the domain of answers lie in the society's desire for economic development. Let us observe some examples. Many Earth scientists find more effective ways to discover or to recover the natural resources like coal or petroleum and oats. Botanists are working to improve the agricultural output that enrich the nations nutritionally. Physicists started developing new phenomena like superconductivity and other similar phenomena which help in economic development. Chemists started developing new chemical substances with potential technological applications. Hence, the societies support science by providing resources to them as the scientific inventions are used for the economic development of the nation. Following are the five steps to be followed for planning and investigation. Ask questions, form a hypothesis, plan an experiment, conduct the experiment, result 
and conclusion. Click each tab to know more. Ask questions. Observe the required material carefully. Note down one question which you want to know. Prepare notes about that question. Sort out what is the additional information required. Need to do research on the topic. Which soil suits best for planting bean seeds? Need to study about different types of soils. Form a hypothesis. Try to make a hypothesis or suitable answer to your question. Hypothesis is the possible answer that can be tested. Summarize your hypothesis in a complete sentence. According to my hypothesis, bean seeds sprout well in potting soils. Plan an experiment. Write down the variables or factors required. Also make a list of equipments. Make necessary arrangements to record the data. I will sow same type of seeds in three different kinds of soil, sandy, clay, potting soils. These are kept under same climatic conditions. Conduct the experiment. Observe the growth of seeds at regular intervals. Record the data in a table so that you can make a clear study. To check the growth of these seeds, I will note their height for every 3 days and make a bar graph finally after 21 days. Result and Conclusion Analyze the data collected and represent in terms of graphs. Make a note of conclusion determining the factors responsible. Check if your hypothesis is correct or not. Now I got it. My hypothesis is not true. Seeds have sprouted in two soils, but there is no sprout in the clay soil. Following are some of the strategies that help us to become good science readers. Before reading, during reading, after reading. Click each tab to know more. Before reading, read the main statement that helps us to know what to look for as we start reading. Imagine I need to find out what are the parts of an ecosystem, how these ecosystems are organized. Look at the vocabulary for words. Make sure that you are able to pronounce each and every word. Look into the glossary to find the meaning of the typical words. State the definitions to yourself and place the words in the sentences to show their meaning. Read the title of the section. Imagine, I need to understand what an ecosystem is and what are the parts of an ecosystem. The title, Different Ecosystems, gives me an idea that an ecosystem may consist of both living and non-living things. During reading, from the first paragraph, find the main idea. Group of organisms interacting with each other and the environment constitute an ecosystem. In the next paragraph, find the details that support the main idea. Based on the type of environment, there can be fewer or more number of living things on the ecosystem. Plants and animals meet their basic needs in an ecosystem when the environment has more space, food and shelter. 
Check your understanding of what you have read. Answer the questions at the end of the topic. If you are unable to answer the question, again read the topic and look for the answer to that particular question. After reading, finally, summarize what you have read. Think about what you have already learned about the ecosystem, types of ecosystems and their interactions. Question yourself. What kind of system is an ecosystem? What are the interactions that occur in an ecosystem? Reading about science helps us to understand the conclusions based on our investigations. Now, let us learn about the other scientific method, writing to communicate. Following are the four different methods of writing to describe what you are learning. Informative writing, narrative writing, expressive writing, persuasive writing. Click each writing tab to know more. Informative writing. The purpose of this method is to clearly and accurately inform about the topic you are learning. In this method, you may 1. Describe your observations, inferences and conclusions. 2. Explain how to perform an experiment. 3. Narrative writing. The purpose of this method is to describe something, tell stories or events or give examples. This method has a beginning, middle and an end. The details of this method describe the actions, thoughts and feelings. This method of writing includes characters. This method of writing has a sequential order. In this method you may write about two or more events. Make sure that the events are written in order. Give details about what happened. Use words like beginning, middle and in the end. Finish the story with good ending. Expressive writing. In this method, you may write letters, poems, songs. Persuasive writing. In this method, you may write letters or describe about important issues in science. Writing letters about what you have learned helps other people to understand your thinking. Now, let us learn about the other important scientific method measuring. While doing experiments or investigations in science, we need to follow some rules and regulations. They are as follows. Think ahead. Be neat. Oops. Watch your eyes. Yuck. Protect yourself from shocks. Keep it clean. Click each tab to know more. Think ahead. While doing an investigation, first we need to study the steps. Make sure that you know all the safety symbols that are shown in the lab. Be neat. While doing an experiment, we need to keep our work area clean and neat. If you have long hair, pull it back so that it doesn't get in the way or do not disturb you. If you have long sleeves, roll or push them up to keep them away from your experiment. Oops! While performing an experiment, if anything breaks unexpectedly or if there is any cut on your body, then inform your teacher immediately. Watch your eyes. While doing an experiment, wear safety goggles. Suppose, if anything falls in your eyes, 
while performing experiment inform your teacher immediately yuck while performing an experiment in science labs never eat or drink anything unless your teacher says protect yourself from shocks while doing an experiment be careful with the electrical appliances make sure that the electrical cords are placed in a safer place where you cannot trip over them don't overpull a plug out of an outlet by pulling on the cord keep it clean always clean your experimental apparatus after completing the experiment keep your work area clean wash your hands clean and neat now let us learn about the secret of inventions and discoveries knowledge check attempt the following questions to check your understanding knowledge check attempt the following questions to check your understanding improve your learning read the questions and attempt the answers on your own you can click answer for your reference follow up work take up the following activities observe the images shown on the screen and mention types of ecosystems why pickles do not spoil but sambar gets spoiled from the given forest ecosystem list the living things and non-living things observe the images shown on the screen and identify the animals find out where these animals can be found why do leaves fall from a tree when they turn yellow test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test 